Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we are going to next part of our 15 storied building design course in Proda Structure 2019. This part we will discuss about the analysis of this building. So let's start. We will go to building analysis from here. Pre-analysis, model option, analysis, post-analysis, model export, and report option. There are the options. First, before going to analysis, we have to check the parameter. Parameter here, we can see the codes. You can change the code as per your requirement. Here is the code list, and this is the country list. And this steel design code, if in the structure there is steel member, then you can choose the steel design code loading code here for load combination you can check here now here earthquake code i will choose uvc uniform building code 97 select this one pick this you can choose as per your requirement then foundation here we can provide allowable stress of soil that means bearing capacity of soil here it is provided to 200 kilonewton per meter square this one we will provide as per the soil report here lateral drift user defined bracing for columns and walls if we provide bracing for column and walls then we can select this one title here we can provide project header design made by decor vd and other check by project number you can provide and here we can provide date click on ok now come to seismic parameters here seismic zone as per the zone you can provide the value here I will choose the seismic zone factor 0.15 as per the region and seismic zone factor you can choose this value from here click on this seismic source type here is the source type A B C I will choose A closest distance to source here we can provide the distance 100 km structure of parameter here seismic importance factor standard occupancy this one ok building height it is calculating from the model system category moment resisting frame, frame system I will choose this one then concrete special moment resisting frame this one ok soil parameters ground type very dense soil and soft rock we can provide as per our site soil condition and other parameters will be selected automatically and here is the spectrum point for different periods elastic spectrum design spectrum these things coming automatically analysis apply accidental eccentricity damping ratio 0.05 number of vibration mode I will use here 10 structure of irregularities if there is any discontinuity in diaphragm existence of the intent corners and non parallel excess of structural elements then you can provide here settings check relative inter story drift use drift ratio limit check building height check other things here you can customize your selection click on ok now loading combination loading generator vertical load combinations here define dead load live load pattern load automatically and here you can choose this create unfactored d plus l combination for serviceability checking or foundation load checking 
horizontal node combination we will choose model response spectrum analysis and here this one dead load live load and here earthquake load we will provide wind loading for horizontal loading we will use cracked section and for vertical there is by default uncracked section for horizontal loading seismic also you must have to use cracked section that's why it is by default selected and for wind loading here it is better to use cracked section as per code recommendation click on ok here automatically the load combination generated ok now wind and story load here we can generate wind load automatically using this product structure software wind load calculator here basic wind speed you can change as per the region 70 minimum wind pressure and other parameters from here we can change exposure category here we can choose exposure b c d here is the description as per the structure location and surrounding condition we can provide this option roughness also here code and region now click on apply now click ok now we can edit materials from here the concrete column c300 wall c300 beam other things we have selected here we can change it from here concrete materials type we can change river strength or river material properties from here here by default sd 40 here strength 400 mpa i will use this this one here also this ok and here we can choose river diameter in our building design you can select all this or if you have preferable size then we can use that one i will go up to 28 millimeter click on ok here also okay slab here we can sense this selection here also link will change this diameter up to 16 okay click on okay now go to model option then go to share all from here we can use finite elements shell model shell width and height we can mesh our wall 500 by 500 millimeter or 1 meter by 1 meter slab model here we can choose stories to be meshed from here and meshing size meshing size we can provide here use decomposed slab load to the structural members and here we can provide slab stiffness coefficient coefficient as rigid diaphragm i will use 0 0.01 in plane membrane okay then go to settings here we can choose our option to see the warnings now go to analysis now here we will check our building model if it is okay or not then we will go for analysis first click on this then start here building model check completed number of errors zero now close this one now we can go for building analysis and design column and wall reinforcement design beam reinforcement design now click on then it will run the analysis and design also at the same time
after finishing the analysis it is running the design now this is done we can go to post analysis we can see model analysis and result display we can see here analysis model and result here we have meshed wall and this story 6 slab that's why it is showing meshed area if we mesh all the story then it will show all the slab meshed in every floor now here we can see we can remove shell from our view then we can see result for sft pmd diagram and this is axial load with the value if we don't want to see the value you can click here and if we need to see the value then click here in level we can increase scale like this the diagram will be increased we can see share it is showing very small in scale we can increase the scale and from here also we can change the scale value if we provide 5 press enter it will show in greater scale here we can check with the load combination dead load plus live load we can see moment here bmd bending moment diagram like this if we need to see uh, story wise we can go to filter then go to history here click on all story all story will be done from here we can check story one here this is the story one story two if we want to see individually this member then go to here detail frame diagram click on this then click on the member for which you want to see the diagram here we can see the diagram with the value okay so in this way we can explore our analysis result close this one close this if we want to see the slab analysis we can check from here for example story 2 this slab analysis we want to explore the result analysis result go to here analysis fe floor analysis then here slab is thickness 0.25 floor mesh and analysis here you can provide the plate element size that means meshing size 600 millimeter generate model so now this is done now close this one here it will come tick symbol so that it is done floor mesh and analysis this is done here you can see this is done after being done it will come to this tab then analysis post processing click on this here we can check the result here bending moment mx we can go to plan view like this from here we can customize our view here if we want to remove this meshing contours we can go to displacement here if we make this off then it will show the diagram without the meshing displacement in this way we can check our diagram
for slab here mx my mxy m1 m2 m12 design moment for reinforcement design md1 direction 1 bottom direction 2 bottom direction 1 top direction 2 top required steel here millimeter square per meter it, it is showing like this so in this way we can explore result of analysis in proto structure 2019 close this one in the next part of this course we will see our column beam column design modification and then detailing so thanks for watching stay tuned for more important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update